Let's do number 13. It says the length of a rectangle is 3 times the width. So obviously L and W we'll use for length and width. So the length is 3 times the width. Let's just check that. Does that make sense? If the length was five, uh, 6, what would the width be? If the length is 6, if the length is 3 times the width, what's the width? 3 times 2. So does that make sense, that the length is three times the width? Yes, it does. I always check it whenever I do that because sometimes you kind of mix up the two variables. That's a very common thing for people to do. All right, it says the perimeter is 44. So the perimeter, remember what a perimeter of a rectangle is? If this is my length and this is my width, I've got two lengths and I've got two widths that I'm adding together. So that's the formula for perimeter. And the perimeter is 44, so let's erase this and let's write in 44. And it says, what are the dimensions? All right, so here's my two equations. The easiest way to, use, to solve this one is by substitution, because it's already solved for L. So let's plug that in right here. So 44 equals 2 times 3W plus 2W. Let's simplify this. 6W plus 8W equals 44. I'm sorry, 6W plus 2W equals 44. I was getting ahead of myself there. Which means 8W equals 44. Which means W equals 44 over 8. Let's cancel that. Take half of it. That's 22 over 4. Take half of it again. That's 11 over 2. 11 halves is the width. And if 11 halves is the width, the length is equal to... 3 times 11 halves, which is 33 halves. So there's my length. My width is 11 halves. Let's check it to make sure it works. I'm going to plug it into this bottom one here. The length is 33 halves. The width is 11 halves. Let's see. Oh, look. How nice. Those cancel. What's 33 plus 11? 44. So I know it's right.